Welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be talking about how to potty train a Yorkie. When to start potty training a Yorkie. When you come to an experienced breeder and ask the question, 6 to 8 months old will be his answer. Starting too early might not be effective because Yorkies are still playful and not ready for a proper and disciplined session. However, the earlier, the better. Signals of a toilet break. Timing. This is not exactly a sign, but kind of your anticipation. When you cannot stick around your Yorkie the whole time, one way to tell is timing and counting back how long since her last bathroom break. In fact, it depends on a variety of factors like size or age. But studies show that the casual period is between 3 and 5 times a day for an adult pooch. Then, based on your estimation, when the time's getting closer, decide to take your Yorkie to right spot either inside or outside. Especially notice if she's just waken up or eaten a meal. It's usually the time when she has to go. Sniffing. If you find your Yorkies suspiciously sniffing for a while somewhere in your house, take actions. Canines use their incredible sense of smell to discover things around them. Obviously, her nose is way more sensitive than ours, and by sniffing, she may in the process of figuring out where to do the business. So, take special notice when she's nosing for more than a few seconds in an unexpected spot because she's about to lift a leg if you don't stop in time. Bring her to the place you've prepared or outside. Searching for place. Sniffing is also for searching places, but this specific sign shows the moment your Yorkie suddenly goes out of your sight. If you turn away in a bit of a second, then turn back with no presence of her, there's a high chance she's looking for a place to pee. It's usually a hidden spot where she hopes not to be found by you. Restiveness. It's necessary for you tell excitement and restiveness apart. Excitement happens for different and specific reasons, while restiveness never takes place unless it's not about toilet break. Staring, whimpering or circling are some of their body language implying a need of peeing or defecating. The urge to go to the restroom makes him unable to hide weird actions. How to potty train a Yorkie. Step 1, creating a bathroom area. If your Yorkie is still a puppy of a few months old, this is a dispensable step to take before bringing a puppy home. The first step on how to potty train a Yorkie is creating a bathroom area. Define a specific location to make your Yorkie come when the urge arises. If you have yard with grass, toileting outside is not a bad choice. Another option is preparing a spot inside the house where she can eliminate under your supervision. Setting up an appropriate and safe place inside seems to be more of an ideal option. The spot should be easily accessible and away from sensitive rooms like the kitchen or bedroom. Step 2. Observing. Your Yorkie cannot go to the right spot without your observation. You'll never succeed if you train one day and leave them alone for the rest days. Training requires repetition under your observation. Your dog needs a pack leader to lead him overcome the challenge. Be on hand at all times. I know that's quite time consuming but worthwhile. Just make yourself ready to pick your Yorkie up at the first sign of emotion. Immediately move to the designated area. Step 3, Crate Training. In order not to make allowance for your Yorkie to hang around and pee anywhere she finds comfortable, crate will be a great tool to lock her. You should build it a safe heaven as comfy as possible. Even though it's still a crate with walls surrounding, she shouldn't feel suffocated and inconvenient at all. As long as she considers it a kind of punishment, no way you can escape from her annoyance. Crate training is all about telling your little buddy that it's a secure and wonderful place to stay and enjoy peace. Providing what she loves like her favorite toys, bowls of food and water and of course, a toilet pad. The point here is just to create comfort for her to be inside during the night or when you're away. Once she associates pee and poo with the convenience of the crate, there's nothing you should worry about. Step 4, Rewarding and Praising. Always reward your Yorkie after she goes toileting in the correct spot. As she knows she would be rewarded, she will have the will to follow your orders more. Praising her, too. Verbal praise tightens your harmonious relationship with your little Yorkie. After rewarding and praising, don't put her back into the crate right away. Because that might be a sign of punishment to her. 
Play with her for a while. 10 minutes would work. Step 5. Practicing. The last thing to do is non-stop practicing. As you know practice makes perfect. The more your Yorkie practices, the more obedient and compliant she becomes. That's all I want to share today about how to potty train a Yorkie. Interested in more information about puppies, dogs and ways to train them effectively, subscribe and follow us. Thanks and love you all.